and tweets. Uh, Timmy, just before we get into this shame and honour stuff, um, did you, during the course of Bertie's evidence at the tribunal, did you form an opinion that the explanations he was giving for the origin of the funds that flowed through his accounts, did you think that the explanations he given were incredible? Well, to be honest with you, through most of it, I thought a lot of it was credible. Um, having known Bertie Hearn as the leader of our party for many years, um, having, I suppose, seen the way he lived his life, he didn't seem to be a man that had the trappings of wealth. Um, he lived an ordinary, simple life. And like many other people, I believed uh, what he had put forward. Now, I think close to the end, like a lot of other people in society, uh, there seemed to be serious questions raised, particularly at the end with the evidence uh, of Gráinne Carruth. No more than many, I didn't follow it in, in the same the level house, of... Uh, the first about the, the stuff about the house, did yeah, you believe that? I did, actually. Did I you did. believe that he, he and Micheál Wall had decided to buy a house, that Micheál Wall would buy it, mm. and that Bertie would rent it? Bertie would put £50,000 into, into renovating a house he was merely going to rent. Mm. And they, did, they were doing this in respect of a house they'd never seen. Well, you see, at did that you stage, think that was believable? Well, 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 I did, and I'll tell you why I did. Uh, put in the context of the explanation that he had given, that his finances were all over the place, that he clearly was in, involved in a separation with his wife, uh, and that I think the general commentary was that he was attempting, to some extent, to hide uh, some of his finances from his wife. That was generally what people thought at the time, and that he had followed a, a relatively unorthodox approach uh, to starting a new life for himself. And his character, Michal Wall, seemed to be facilitating, as other pals seemed to have. Now, I, that was largely believable. And it was on the basis that Bertie Hearn didn't have the trappings of power associated with others in the past. Uh, he didn't live or appear to live an expensive lifestyle. He didn't appear to need additional resources. He had a well-resourced uh, political machine in Drumcondra. And yet, to me, it was believable. You said he appeared to be hiding finances from his wife in the course of a judicial separation. What do you think of that? It, 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 that, that certainly was a regrettable practice, and I think it was practice. wrong. It was wrong, but it was, a, it was an issue that was going on between himself and his are wife. You are you and familiar that, that, in, that in judicial separation uh, uh, proceedings you have to swear an affidavit of means? Yes, and I assumed and, that he would have done that. But and that but then was, why would he need to hide money? Well, I think what he said at the time, if you'll recall, Vincent, he indicated that he wasn't lodging the money into his bank account. All that he was bringing in from his wages were clearly uh, identifiable. Uh, and therefore, I assumed, like everybody you else... Said you said you assumed that the money that was going through his accounts, that the reason he didn't have a bank account and all that was because he wanted to hide... Uh, finances, his finances from his wife. What, he... what would be the point of doing that except to deceive his wife about the finances? And the deception surely would have been foundered, it would have been fallen apart had he told the truth in his affidavit of means. So he, he must have told lies in that too. Uh, I'm not aware whether he did or not, but I assumed at the time that he had, that the evidence that he was given, which was very straightforward, that he wasn't cashing his checks, uh, that, he, uh, that he wasn't lodging his checks into the accounts because he didn't have access. To so, his accounts. So what he had thought, clearly indicated was that he had a number of. It was of worse accounts. than the, most, most other people thought. You thought that he was, uh, he was lying uh, to deceive his wife in a judicial separation. No, I didn't say that. I yeah, didn't you say say, that. You no, assumed what, what, that he was hiding finances from his wife. I wrote it down. That, that I assumed what he was doing was that he wasn't putting the money into his accounts. And why wouldn't he be doing that? Because as, I under, as, as, as he had outlined at the time, and he outlined on many occasions, that he didn't have access to his accounts, that they were joint accounts. He could and have that opened he was another account. He could have. Yeah, and and I didn't. think he said and at the time it was you haphazard. Thought, you assumed he was hiding finances no, from I, his wife. I, I assumed that he was going through a process of separation. This you is said, what I said, You Vincent. said I wrote it down because yeah, I thought it was significant. Yeah. You said, I assumed he was hiding finances from his wife. Isn't that I, actually I, worse? I, I assumed that he wasn't cashing his checks. I <laughs> Did didn't, you think I it was OK? Think... Did you think no. it was OK to discover that the Taoiseach of the day, that you believed that the Taoiseach of the day was hiding finances from his wife and would almost certainly have had to lie under oath in the affidavit of means. I thought the source, like many people, that the source of the money that was talked about at the tribunal had come from his salary, which is what he had indicated, and that he hadn't lodged that to his bank accounts because they were in his, in, in his wife's name Because as well. he was hiding and finances that he was and money from not, his wife. Not, 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 yes, he, what you well, said. I, I don't think he ever said he was hiding no, the finances. No, but you said it. Well, what I, no, Vincent, what you I'm said, saying to you is what you said. that he was cashing his cheques, he wasn't lodging them to his wife's account, or the, the joint account that existed, and that that was the explanation 
Isn't of the it wonderful now? Of the Isn't it just fantastic? That Fina Fall thought this was fine because all the poor fella was doing was hiding money from his wife in a judicial separation. Sure, that's no, what fellas not do. Not hiding, Vincent. What I'm saying is that that's he what wasn't you said. lodging. He that's wasn't, what you said. Wh- what I'm saying to you is Timmy, that he wasn't Timmy, lodging. This isn't what he you said. Lodging. That's what you said. I wrote it down. Okay. I thought it was significant. Yeah. I wrote it down. Yeah. He wasn't <coughs> lodging the money to the joint. He, he account. said he was hiding money from his wife. So it was okay. He wasn't getting money from a developer or something like that. All of the poor fella was doing hide money from his wife, uh, judicial uh, separation. Well, well, okay, Vincent. Sure, he'd have to lie no, and the, was, uh, no, the affidavit. No, Vincent, and mean you're thing. misrepresenting what I said. It was, what, what I said was that my assumption was that this was his salary check. He wasn't putting it into his joint account so that he had access to it himself rather than putting it into account where he didn't have access. That's what I assumed at the time. You said That's hide all. finances from his wife. Hiding his salary check his from his wife. His finances from his wife. His salary like check said. is what I believe, Vincent. I can only tell you what I believed at you the time. You can only tell you me what you me said. At the I'm only no, Vincent, quoting you You what asked you me said. at the outset what I thought of his situation. I said it was unorthodox. I said that as far as I was concerned, what I believed based on what he was saying in public at the time was that this was his salary check, which he wasn't lodging Hiding to the joint account. his finances from his wife. Hiding it or putting it beyond access to his wife going through the judicial separation. Hi- hiding or, beyond but it her, wasn't, or hiding or putting but, beyond but, but it wasn't money other than... My understanding was that it wasn't money other than <coughs> that which came from his employment it gets worse, as a actually. TD. It gets worse. <laughs> you get you, you you're like but you're Bertie. asking me you're like Bertie Bertie when Bertie got into trouble he got he kept made things worse and worse he kept digging holes look I'm what you've you. done now I, I, I'm just giving you the explanation, Vincent, what, what, as I see it. I mean, think it I is, put words into uh, my mouth, if you want. It's OK. I should, well, it doesn't matter a damn. Look, uh, that's, uh, boys being boys, sure, that's what they do in a situation like that. They hide money from their wives and they have to tell porky pies under oath in an affidavit of mean. Sure, sure it happens every day. We all know that. Well, I feel sorry for Timmy, really, because I think the point you make is correct, but I don't think that that attitude is confined to Fianna Fáil. I mean, uh, many, many people.